Good night, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you here on whatever night of the week it is. I won't know until next week, until the new year, I think, until things settle down. Back with a couple for tomorrow. I found it difficult to find much tomorrow, but I found a couple of wind bets and a couple each way. Um, late back, I was in. I nearly said Punchestown in Leperstown today. Nice crowd. Um, it was bitter towards the end. I thought I'd get pneumonia on the way out. A good job I had my hat on and I had my heavy coat and I had my leather gloves. Didn't forget them today. As we got the shuttle back, nobody was going to walk because they'd drive up the water on top of you. There was so much water running down the road. It was cold too. But um, good performances, good racing. Met a few up there today. Um, in the in the queue there in the evening, I met John O'Neill from Kilkenny. He said uh, he's a follower, but his brother likes the channel more. And I was just wondering, I've seen a newcomer on the bus, and Alan O'Neill. I forgot to ask the, uh, John O'Neill his brother's name. But the cats are good followers. Uh, Eugene from Charleville. Good chat with him. There must be nothing but horse racing uh, round Charleville. He goes to O'Brien's as well. I think we'll meet again sometime. Uh, we had such bad news lately. It was great to get good news the last couple of days. Colin Garrett from Boyle. Mr. Willnot, as he might be known to some people, uh, got engaged to a lovely girl from Tullamore. I forget her first name. I was telling her I didn't get her into my office in time, which is all said in jest. Uh, she was, they were along with uh, Damien and uh, Mark. Would you buy me a drink or would you have a drink? Fian. Um, and Tomás Mannion from Galway, from Orden Moor, he got engaged as well. I don't know where his, as I say, his hen is from. But uh, I wish both couples the very best of luck and a long life together. Um, great racing today. I made, I made a good few pounds today. Everything went sort of right. Um, back Willie Mullins at 6-4 to four in the first race. Absolutely hosed in. Um, and then we had a great winner in uh, Music of Tara. Rachel was under the pump before the turn for home and I was saying, come on Rachel, but an out and out stare, uh, probably a step up and trip would suit better. Um, grand winner, that was sixes last night. I know there was a rule four, but I think even with rule four, uh, it was working out nine to two, but it was four to one at the track. So I went in two or three times each way because you get a quarter of the odds there then. Uh, so I was, I was saying even on the turn for home and guaranteed to get my money back, but I made a nice profit. And then two favourites won. And then we had the return to form of Gallopin. Um, I was I was saying last night, I was afraid of uh, fast or slow today. Um, and I was ha happy when I got the message on the way up this morning that uh, fast or slow was pulled out because... It was rowing behind for sure, uh, Gallop and Deschamps then. Um, I suppose with, with all, he had beaten all of them before that was in front of him by uh, Jerry Callum. But Jerry Callum is like an under-21 footballer coming up, trying to take the place of uh, a fellow that's playing and he's 26 or 27. So, so he showed them who was boss today. It was absolutely colossal performance. I didn't see uh, um, it back yet, but I will. It could be time for a red ox bath tonight and watch it three or four times with a hot whiskey. Um, I knew when he jumped the first that he was in forum, not like uh, the last day. And actually I went out to the saddling enclosure and he came along straight and he was eyeballing me. And I just got the camera and I, I think he spotted me. And I said, uh, come on, you're going to do it today. But um, he was 6-4 to four in running. Uh, 
So I had two or three times I went in again with a score. But um, I was watching the race out towards the wire, uh, towards the fence, with a guy from Ohio, never in uh, Ireland before. He's studying in, I think he said Milan, was it, or somewhere, or Spain, somewhere. And it was too expensive to go home to the States for Christmas, so he came to Ireland. And he was heading up to Belfast, I think, tomorrow. He was on I Am Maximus. But with your cans on Partridge Company, uh, he said, you're on a winner. Um, but as he was fa um, going by me, I looked back to see where was the rest of them. I said, did they all fall at the last or something? I couldn't believe he was so far ahead. But what an absolute brilliant, brilliant. I was absolutely delighted. Everyone knows, but I was just afraid maybe today that uh, Willie might be gearing him towards uh, March. But he wasn't going to let uh, Gordon Elliott win uh, a group, a grade one today. Um, not a chance. He's so competitive. So uh, I had a couple of bets after that. Uh, I backed actually the one in, in the, la the second last race at 12. And I see to this speed at uh, 18 to a second um, for Coeur Delane, that one. Um, the two in that we had backed as well, um, Mont Saint Vincent didn't. He, he, I, I, I thought he'd stay on to be a place, and I didn't see the other race at all, I completely forgot about it because it was right after Gallop and Champs race, and I was still buzzing. Anyway, I found it very difficult tomorrow, but we got a couple of, um, there's a race at two miles four and half a furlong in Doncaster. It's a mayor's race uh, listed, uh, won the last two years by Zambella uh, for the Davises. Um, Rated 142, I think the twice is one. It's rated 144 now. Um, but Limerick Lace is rated 145. And it's getting two pounds. So that's three pound well in. Um, that was gambled on the last year from tens into fours in the Troy Town. That, uh, and it just didn't didn't stay. Uh, or got out stayed by a dour stair in uh, Cocoa Beach. But previously, over two miles, two and a half, heavy ground, absolutely hosed up by 16 and Seems to have improved this year um, on the heavy ground. Heavy ground tomorrow, probably in... Uh, it'll be hot deep round here, I'll tell you anyway, after the rain icing this evening. When we're coming out this evening, but to slow down to 30 miles an hour, and I had to get off the fast lane to get into the middle lane because I couldn't see where the concrete barrier was to my right. It was that such a downpour. I got in behind and I was hoping the, in the middle lane that the person in front knew or could see lines because I could see fuck all with all the, the spray coming back. But we got down about two miles and then it eased up about the uh, Tala Junction or that. Um, Limerick Lace is uh, a better chaser than... Uh, A hurdler. It has three wins, three places. It's related to all them. Uh, you know, you know your thinking, and I know what you're having, and what are you having yourself, and all of them cred. So Gavin Cromwell, John Joe Neal riding it. It's uh, taking on the fa I'm taking on the fav with it. Three pound well in. Uh, the heavier, the better. I'd say the ground. So that's one. In the one ten similar. I'm going for the the graded races. A grade three. Uh, there's three of them carrying a penalty. But Willie has won this. Uh, and he's not out of it either. But I think he's better on better ground. That's the LV. Willie has won it, I think, six out of the last seven. He has two here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six out of the last seven. So the fact that he chooses these couple uh, is probably a tip in itself, like for followers of the air, and they're going well. Um, he has uh, Celevi 
and pink in the park. Only as risk bell as well. Risk bell is a four year old. Only one four year old has won this in the last number of years. Four year old let's dance in two thousand and was so that's only one in the last twelve or thirteen years. I'm going to top weight even though it's given a uh, it's not well in at the well it's one pound off. But on its last run it was boosted today to the length and three quarters behind Irish Point after Irish Point hosing up today. He was very impressive and uh, uh, factified as well. But it, decent horse this. We've it back before. But if you look at the, the run in Don Royal. Just in for maximum effort. Just nudged up behind them now. Meeting around just trying to close the gap. So rather than push. I got rid of that. Uh, that's the one where was the one ten where we check the prices two to one and the horse that was third in that race media naranja i think is an each way bet four year old all four year olds in a, a listed handicap hurdle and the fact that um, gordon elliott gordon Picks this horse. Um, it was third that day, and it was fifth. In a list of handicap world there, uh, behind common practice. It's an each way bet in that as well. The favourite is Luminous Light. Uh, luminous light was in behind uh, Waterford Whispers, which is beaten six and a quarter length. If Luminous Light uh, really runs really well there, that Waterford Whispers is out uh, later tomorrow. I think it's in the two fifty five. Is it? Because that answer to Keith uh, run pretty decent. Uh, Yeah, it's out tomorrow. But actually, in that race, just when I'm at it, there's a big gamble on Lyndon Arden in that race. It's uh, opened up 11 to 2, and it's the first run for Willie Mullins. It's out of Solarina, that uh, great mare that the Bowes had. And the Bowes still retain ownership as a John P. Bow. I don't know which, but it's he uh, or she it's a he actually it's a he he was behind Ferranilli, Nick Rocket, Connors Cross, Western Diego, Castlefield Boy and that was the only time that he was anyways shorter than 40 to 1 in all in maiden hurdles so that could be pegged in there at 109 first run for Willie they could be trying to get New Year's money so keep an eye on the market there if it, it could that could be a book he's uh, plunge because they're doing that a lot lately to try and uh, I noticed and then it drifts out after that. Um, but median Naranja, I think it's a five to one shot. Back at each way. I don't want to see it. Someone, I'm doing a Trixie. I don't, this isn't Trixie job um, for a five to one shot and two shorter ones. And there's an each way play as well in the 12.55 tomorrow. Roly Boly Boy is out again. We're back to him the other day and he came third. But to the net, he's a stayer. And he's out tomorrow again. And the fact that they're bringing him back out three days later, like, uh, and he runs fairly well in uh, Limerick. That's another thing for me, Dean Orange. It actually won its uh, maiden hurdle in Limerick. Limerick is sort of a, a yeah, they're like it or hate it, track. Uh, and it's on soft ground, uh, beat Heather Bear. Uh, seems to be better on soft. Third in that race in Irish, and 
it seems to be better on, on softer ground than yielding. Uh, Roly Boly Boy, I think it's a six to one shot at it or something. Four four places. You'd imagine that Baldur's Gate was uh, sort of, he won the last two, but he's gone up a good few pounds. Remember when we picked him before, we backed him a couple of times, Rachel was on him and uh, done nothing. But it's gone up, uh, I think it's eight pounds. So, roly boly boy, each way play as well. Um, it's not great stuff for the last day at, at, um, at Fairy House. I could find nothing. So, anyway, it is what it is, as they say. So, bash the bookies over and out.